We're going to show you how to use QuickBooks key features like sending an invoice, creating a bill, and managing taxes. Use the clickable sections to skip to these parts. To create an invoice, from the top left, select the plus new icon, and then invoice from the drop-down. Add your customer details here, and your service or product details below. Complete the template with all the information required, and when you're ready to send, click Save and Send at the bottom. A preview window will appear. Fill in the email subject and your message of choice here, and click Send and Close. Your invoice will be sent to your client directly through QuickBooks. You can link QuickBooks with your bank to have all your transactions uploaded to your account automatically. You can then categorise your expenses and income to file them correctly for your accounting. From the left hand side, select Banking. You'll see all the automatically added transactions from the bank listed. To categorise a transaction, click on an uncategorised one and then fill in the correct options from the form that appears below. Click Add to categorise. If you've manually added any transactions into QuickBooks, you can match these with the bank transactions by choosing the Match button next to these payments. You can create rules to automatically categorise transactions that happen regularly. In the Banking tab, click on Rules at the top. To add a rule, click New Rule here. When categorising your expenses, QuickBooks will often ask if you want to make a rule as you go. You can review these in the Rules tab and change them. To add an expense, click on the plus new icon and then select Expense from the drop-down. At the top, fill in the payee and the method of payment used. Complete the form with the correct details of the expense and then save and close. Your expense will now be added to the software. You'll want to add a bill if you've received an invoice but haven't yet paid for it. Click on the plus new button on the top left of your screen and then select bill from the drop down. Fill in the vendor's name and details and complete the form with all the information of the bill. Click save to enter it into QuickBooks. You can also schedule to pay the bill through QuickBooks by clicking here. To pay a bill, click on the plus new button and then select pay bills. All your unpaid bills will be listed below. You can pay all of these at once by clicking the check mark at the top of the list to select all. Alternatively, just select the ones you want to pay. You can choose to pay bills through QuickBooks or just process that they've been paid. To pay the bills, select Schedule Payments Online and you'll be taken to the QuickBooks Pay platform. Click on the drop down arrow next to Schedule Payments Online and click Save to process into QuickBooks. To manage payroll and employees, go to the Payroll tab. You'll find the Employees, Contractors and Workers' Compensation sections here. Here you can find all your employee and contractor details listed. You can add new people by clicking Add an Employee. You can add contractor details the same way. Click on Workers' Comp to get a quote for insurance. You can produce instant reports at any time using QuickBooks. Go to the Reports tab on the left hand side and you'll find a list of many different reports you can run. To create a profit and loss report, click here. At the top, you can change the period it runs for and also add a comparison column under Compare another period. Click Save Customization to apply the changes and produce a new report. To create a balance sheet, Go back to the Reports list and click Balance Sheet. Choose any other report you'd like from the Reports page. From the left-hand side, select the Taxes tab to manage your taxes.
click to get started. Confirm your information and continue to the Sales Tax Centre. Select how often you file taxes and click Save. Your sales tax due will be shown here. Click here to change the period and view previous tax returns. Click on a report and click Pay to process if a return has been paid. You can run a sales tax report by clicking here. You can see what tax you've already paid by clicking on History here. 